In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and sharing with you my first Ultimate or uh, Ultimate Team Weekend League gameplay with Aaron Rodgers and with Calvin Johnson. So I got the new Golden Ticket Aaron Rodgers and the new Golden Ticket Calvin Johnson. So excited to test them out here uh, in Weekend League. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, my name is Cody, and basically my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, we post tips and tricks every single day that can help you get better on both sides of the ball. We also break down live film studies just like this, where we kind of show you, kind of take you inside our mind and share with you what we're thinking, why we do what we do. So if you want to get access to all of the content here on the channel, I would 100% encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. All right, so in this video, like I said, we're talking about uh, just my new cards, and we're also talking about the trips tight end offense I've been running uh, for the last couple of weeks. feel like I'm actually really getting pretty good at it. If you want to get my entire offensive guide on the trips tight end offensive uh, formation, then you can get that in the description for just 10 bucks. It's the best offense in the entire game, in my opinion. It gives you all the answers that you need. And if you're patient with the offense, it is really, really good. On defense, I'm running the nickel 335 wide uh, defense, which I have said all season long, pretty much since June of last year, that this is the best defense in the game. It continues to show and it continues to be that. So if you want to get my complete guide to the trips tight end and to the or to the 335 wide, you can get that in the description. All right, guys, so starting out, going to just kind of run my basic offense. Not going to do anything necessarily different just because I have these cards, but I do love the fact that Aaron Rodgers is in my, like, you guys have no idea. Uh, I was so over RG3's terrible throwing animation, and so I'm able to now get Rodgers, and Rodgers is just so much better. He has such a better release, and I'm such a big fan of, uh, of just his release. And the beauty of this is it kind of is the perfect blend because now what you're going to be able to do is you got a 99 speed tight end, and then you've also got 99 speed at all your receiver positions, and you've got a quarterback that has the best release in the game, and he can throw on the run. Just I mean, he can throw on the run now because you can get you know with the golden ticket, you can get all these different abilities on him, which is what makes it so effective. So. Anyways, here, I'm going to go to one of my favorite little just simple uh, simple yard gainers here. This is uh, just a super, super, super simple concept. Uh, but basically, if they're playing backed off coverage, we're going to be able to just pop this out route. Easy read for Rodgers. And you're going to find whenever you use this golden ticket Rodgers that he's so much better than RG3 in, so, in, in, in the passing. Now, RG3 is definitely a better scrambler. So if you want to be a scramble heavy offense, I would stick with RG3, but I personally love to just simply play from the pocket and just make reads and throw lasers just like that right there. So this is going to allow me to do that. So super pumped. It gave me a great excuse to kind of go back to a little bit more um, just kind of ball control style offense. And we're going to be able to leverage this concept. Now I could pretty much run this concept almost every play, especially with the new Calvin Johnson card. Because the Calvin Johnson card really um, is just so good at being able to beat man-to-man -man coverage because he's got 99 speed. And um, if you put short in elite on him, you're going to be able to see that right there. That throw that I just made with Rodgers, RG3 would be a throw to sack interception or it would just be a simple sack. And so that's why I really like, um, I really like having the ability to have him on the squad. Now, I'm actually excited to talk about this a little bit. Um, this is my new favorite way... Uh, to just kind of work in the red zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Calvin Johnson at the... So I've got basically an I-form type, type of look. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to basically run that same concept that we've been running, but we're going to use two ghost routes as opposed to... And of course, I've got, I got too many hot routes, too many adjustments, and I'm going to get a delay a game. I really wish that they would give you more time. They would like give you the ability to set your audibles offline. It would be so, so helpful um, for situations like what you just saw that I ran into. Because what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to go from the split close play and I'm gonna be able to audible down into iForm tight and be able to check into like a power row run. The beauty of this Robert Woods uh, golden ticket in combination with the Calvin Johnson golden ticket is they both have really, really good run blocking as well, even though they're really, you know, meant to be more of a pass heavy uh, type of player. So that's really nice to have that. On the second and goal situation, you're gonna see, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go to my favorite new passing play on the goal line. It's this PAFB slide. And what you wanna do is you wanna put a delay drag out there 
and then essentially you're just going to motion this guy over, put him on a smart routed curl, and you're going to snap kind of right in here. They're going to think you're running, and then you're going to roll out of the pocket and just be able to throw a dime or over the middle of the field. Very simple little read. Every one of my receivers has short and elite on them, uh, except for the outside receiver, the trips. He actually has short out elite, and I think he does have short in elite as well. So he has both. But the beauty of that is they're going to be able to get really good catching inside of the numbers. Um, and then they're going to be able to get good route separation as long as their route starts in the numbers. So I highly recommend uh, getting the short in elite ability. I think it's the most um, useful ability at the wide receiver position and the most economical because it's only one AP if you have the golden ticket or if you have like a route running archetype of receiver. So 100% recommend that. And you can get that. You can get all of that stuff that I was just talking about for relatively cheap. All right, so on defense now, um, so defense is pretty much the same. Uh, I'm using, I'm not really doing anything different as far as any, like I'm not doing any new abilities or anything. Um, what I have done is I put Mike Evans. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm putting, I got deep out zone KO on all of my, uh, on all of my outside corners. And then on my inside corners, I'm going with mid zone KO. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna have to take a timeout, kind of waste the timeout here. Wasn't ready, I, I thought I had my audible set, but I didn't. So looks like my opponent's gonna be running some trips tied in as well. So this should be a fun little matchup. See who runs it better. Um, gotta, so what I've got is I've got the lurker ability on both of my linemen. Um, because they're golden ticket cards and they're outside linebackers, it allows them to get this, this pass coverage uh, ability onto them which is really, really nice. We'll see if he throws it. He doesn't, he's gonna take a sack. Um, real quick, you'll notice that Clowney's in there and Smith's in there. I must I must have messed up and not activated one of them or whatever because one of them has it and one of them doesn't. So I gotta kinda pay attention to that and make sure that I only drop uh, Zadarius Smith in coverage. A little PA boot over action. Um, that's pretty bad defense on my part. I, I don't I you know he's going to PA boot over right there And I just played really really poor defense uh, Poor poor defensively. So what I've got to do is I've got to move I guess I'm gonna have to move Zadarius Smith to the wide side I don't know why it took his ability off of him Because um, I've been using lurker on these guys for forever. But anyways, all right, so trips tied in Just like so and I find that Mike Blitz 3 is just really hard to consistently kill from trips tight end. Um, you can like work your way up and down the field on it, but it's hard to really consistently beat it. And, and we're okay. Like, And see, I'm not going to send people unless I really need to. I find that when you send people, stuff just starts to get open. So what I like to do is I like to send two and uh, basically just rely on, on the, the sheds because... Because you have 99 overall, like Montez Sweat and stuff, whenever they do that, that little trick little trick for that, um, if you see something like that, you want to make sure to base align. I find that it's really, really helpful to base align. So if they motion the outside receiver of the trips tight end, that's where you really, I really highly recommend um, base aligning. If you see that little trick, I just think it's such a simple little way to play pretty solid defensively. So now we've got him in a third and long situation right here, kind of sticking with this until he shows he can beat it. See that right there, see that movement? I need a baseline, I'm trying to baseline and I can't get my guy to get out there. I've got to watch for a corner route is what I'm trying to get at. So there we go, good defense all around. I don't know why my guy drifted to the inside. Got to watch for the route bounces and he's gonna throw me a book right over the middle. And that's what I'm saying, when you're patient, I find that at this point of the season, and, and I think in general with Madden, you re it's really, really important to be patient and to try to limit the mistakes that you're gonna make. If you can limit the mistakes, it really does help. Like, I, I know it sounds like such a simple little tactic, but for me, it's been so, so important. Um, just, just, I find, you know, whenever I play um, with a little bit more composure and a little bit more patience, I normally am gonna have a lot more fun uh, and I'm normally gonna play a lot better. That's just kind of my my thing here. So like right here, we're gonna check down. We're just gonna test this run defense, just kind of see. Um, what I like about split close is that split close audibles over to eye tight really, really smoothly. So you can really, um, I mean, you could just move really quickly in between the two sets, which is really nice because, and, and ideally you wanna come out 
in this flipped. So we're going to run the ball here um, and just test his running defense again. But you can use this power O. Power O is always better to the weak side this year. At least just been my uh, that's just been my finding, uh, whether it be from goal line or from I form. Well, like right here, you're going to see I'm going to go back down to it. And then I'm going to go back to that little setup right here. But I'm not going to drag. I'm not going to bring the guy and put him on a zone. So you see how he's kind of shifting. Um, and, and actually here, you know, we probably could check into power row. It's a good look for it. But we're just going to run this. See how that running back picks him up? That's what I really like about that PA slide. It's one of the things that you're going to deal with. If you are if you play Madden at all, if you have any level of skill at the game and you're going to play better players, if you go under center, it's very likely that they're going to use a rush. You almost always will happen. What I like about that the the PA boot plays from under center when you run a uh, a boot action, it's especially if you can get into it quick and go like we're able to do. What I like about that is it's harder for them to get a user rush because the the handoff is going to put the running back in perfect position to get the block. The other thing is if you wanted to, you could and, and you and you notice we're blocking the tight end obviously. So we're blocking the running back that's on the play action play, and we're blocking the tight end, and we're sliding protecting uh, to the backside so that we don't get user rush. That I find helps a ton. If you run just a traditional play action where you're just dropping back, that doesn't work as well. Okay, that's just kind of what I found. Now, real quick, real tip, uh, real real quick tip against uh, bunch tight end here is you see, and ah, right there, ah, I just missed a pick. I had him too. One of the things that you can do against bunch tight end, um, if you see a lot of bunch tight end, is you can run a outside quarter on the left side in combination with like a seam flat, and you'll find that it does a pretty decent job. Right here, I got to watch the tight end streak there, down, Let's see if he throws this streak. He does have it over the top, but he's not going to take it. So, right there is a little bit poor defense by me. I've got to watch if they send the tight end on a streak. That's kind of the route that like can really backbreak the Mabel. Um, so you got to kind of watch out for that. And he had it right there. All right, so let's see here. And that's why I like to run this right here. Okay, so you see he's going to this bunch tight end again. We're gonna sit right here and we're just gonna try to contain ourselves. Now look, the three Rick's gonna be right in the area. Now he didn't he didn't play it as well as I would hope I hoped he did but he did get out there. One of the things that I'm starting to actually really like, especially if they're just running boot over every single play, is to simply do that. So you see here, um, I don't know what he just did. I guess he just flipped his trips to the short side. We're gonna stick with our defense here. I just have to really watch this right side. Um, okay, there, and you see here, I'm gonna send the goons, and then what I'm gonna do is throw a little purple zone over there. So we're trying to send some pressure there. And he got us. Good job by him. Um, dang, that's frustrating. That was bad defense by me. I was trying to do a little bit too much. I should have just stayed. I should have just went to the defense that I've practiced against boot over, over and over, that actually can contain most of what they want to do. Right there, I just made a mistake and I, I ended up trying to do too much. I caught myself without uh, I caught myself in a in an inside third, and he's able to deep glitch me over there. So good job by him. Um, bad job by me on that drive. And we had a couple moments of stops, but we just we just didn't finish it out. So back on offense, offensively we've been playing fine. I think. Um, yeah, we get the ball first, so that's the one thing that I don't like. I always like to not get the ball first um, because I do, this situation right here is kind of tricky. If we can get three, we'll be fine. Like, if we can get three here, obviously you want to get seven, but you want to kind of prepare, you know. So two timeouts. And also one of the things that's really important is when you come out in trips, you have to understand and, and really wrestle with, like, where can they hit you? So, like, right here, it's not, it's not probable that he's going to be able to send uh, a ton of pressure. So we're going to go to this setup, which is a five out setup. So you'll see here, we're going to send five receivers out and we've got the curl on the left side. The beauty of raw, I'm telling you, I can, you cannot underestimate how important it really truly is to have a quarterback that can make every throw. Like it's been one of the things that's been important for years uh, in this game. 
Now right here, you notice that he shifts down to this 335 wide. Now from here, he can send some pressure. Uh, he can't send like a ton of pressure, but we are gonna double team on the outside here so we can roll out. So we're just going to block the running back. We're gonna leave this curl. Uh, but what I like about this now is you'll see there, that's exactly why I did this. So I could do that right there. And that route combo, that's why I was talking about the importance of base. If someone does something like that to you in weekend league, you're playing a trips player that likes to go to something like that. I think it's really, really valuable to base a line against something like that because if the receiver is even with the flat zone, um, it, it's really hard to stop it. So as you can see, I mean, it's just hard to stop it. Right here, a great opportunity just to send five out. And again, we're really trying to secure the field goal first. We have to get into field goal range. That's our number one priority when we're in a two minute drill. Once we get into field goal range, then the playbook opens up. So like right here, um, we probably could do some other things, but we're actually gonna stick with the same concept. And the reason why is because again, we want to make sure we get in the field goal range. So you see the movement of that player. We're looking on this right side. Does he go down? You see there he does. Now you see that he leaves the hitch to go to the post and we're able to take that easy read underneath. That's why I like this concept so much. So now what we've known is like, okay, he started to cover two on that side. So we're gonna keep that in mind for the second half. We're gonna kind of watch, see if he continues to do that uh, while we run some of our other concepts. So you see here, we've got the Omaha activated. It is showing cover two, but we should be able to hit this, um, this route to circle. Rogers throws a laser on the run and unfortunately Brandon Ayuk didn't catch the ball But the read is there and this might be a consistent adjustment, you know, we've got this out activated here And now if you see that like what you're seeing the beauty of this, uh, I think I've got Omaha um, The beauty of this ability is I can look over there on that left side and see what zone he is in And so I'll just easily take a lay. It's just an easy layup and the way you do that is by hitting the right trigger. It'll just show you kind of what, what they're doing. So you'll see, I'll keep the ability. Um, and every time you complete a pass, you keep the ability. So like right here, you see a man coverage assignment, an outside quarter. So now, you know, we could go to something like this combo and um, we'll just do kind of a standard thing. Now you see we've got their defense messed up again. And now you see circle uh, getting over the top again for an easy touchdown. That's the power of Omaha. You can literally see the adjustments. It's one of the best abilities in the game when you can get it activated. Honestly, it doesn't take a lot of, to get it activated. Um, it, it, it only takes, I think it's like seven straight completions or something. So if you play a, a little bit of a ball control, a little short yardage pop, pop offense like I'm playing, you can get that activated and then once you've got that activated you can see the shells that they're in or the coverages and you can break them just like i did right there so that's a little tip uh about omaha and just you know the importance of it make sure you have that as your as one of your x factors i think it's probably one of the most effective um x factors that you can possibly have now on defense uh we've got 50 seconds a little bit of game management here so we're in a situation where we've got 50 seconds you got to ask yourself you know he's got three timeouts so he's got plenty of time this is a little bit of an almost tra borderline tradition traditional um traditional drive so we're just going to kind of see um what he's going to do honestly here he goes to bunch looks like he's trying to get a little cover three beater over the top he was throwing me a pick but he couldn't get the ball off and that's what i'm talking about we're not sending we're really not sending a ton of people we're just um as you see here, we're just containing. Um, okay, right here, a little PA boot over action there. I gotta play the delay fade, and that's pretty decent defense. I'll live with that. That's actually pretty de decent defense. One of the things that I like to do, this is when we know that they have to pass. So they're in a, a must pass situation. I really like this nickel 335 uh, Tampa 2 defense. And the reason why is just because it's super simple to run. It's really hard to break this defense. Like really, really hard. To break it we're gonna throw a three wreck on the field we're gonna be the container ourselves here uh, we're just gonna have, try to have these nice wide rush angles you'll see we're gonna use a rush around kind of put some pressure on him make him dance a little bit in the pocket and he went back to that cover three beater so good read by him but now you see we're in a, a pretty good position now real quick um, just a little bit of a game again another game management thing is he needs to get a first down but at the same time he doesn't have like time to just, um, you know, to just, to just, you know, be able to do that. So what we can do is kind of come off the edge here with Griffin. 
and we'll see see how he's doing that go back take that away and there we go we get the stop that's huge so now um real quick all we're doing so we got to double check make sure we're on conservative because we're not so good we're going to double check make sure we're on conservative now again back to game management uh we he gets bought half so we can be a little aggressive but we don't want to be a ton aggressive so you're going to see i'm going to place i'm going to call some very safe play calls um i'm going to go down to eye tight i'm going to do a little play action just try to catch him uh in a bad defense and if i can catch him uh, this could be a good opportunity so you see here he's showing me um that this skinny post might be open so i'm going to recross her and i'm going to throw a little skinny post out there and i'm just rolling out and a dang i don't know how he did that we're actually gonna have to take that time out and now we're in a little bit of a bad spot I'm not quite sure how he was able to get the outside rush on that. Normally, I pretty normally that's a pretty safe call. Um, but right here, we're just trying to get our yardage back. And then what we're going to do is if we can get the yardage back, uh, we're going to um, we're going to whoops. We're just going to come up and spike the ball. So we got double hitches here, and we're just really trying to just get the yardage back here. So just easy read, get ourselves in the field goal range. We're going to go ahead and just get out of bounds. And now we got one down to play with. What I like to do is, and again, I'm just going to take a, a, a peek. I'm not going to, I'm probably not even going to throw it, but I am going to try. I'm, I'm going to at least give myself the opportunity for fluke to occur or for him to make a mistake. So we're going to go to this PA counter, back to the PA counter go setup. Again, we're not doing um, it really, you know, I mean, we're just trying to, be very very simplified here so you'll see if in the event that he does run man we do have a, a stop and go and i i thought i threw it away but i i screwed up oh i was talking about how i couldn't do that and i did it oh, it's so frustrating i didn't get a good block on the outside i should have set in the pocket one of the things you got to do from trip sign in is a little bit different than designed roll it like a pa boot over is you've got to sit, let the blocks kind of gather themselves a little bit, and then roll out. If you don't do that, you get that, what hap what just happened to me. Um, and that's huge. That's a big mistake because now what should be a 17-point three-possession lead is now going to be a 14-point two-possession lead, and he gets the ball. Um, so he's going to have an opportunity to be able to go down and, and, and put himself in a, a decent chance to be able to come back here. So we kind of made a big we, – we made a really big mistake right there. So it looks like he's gonna kind of shift a bunch tight end. So if I see someone do this, um, if I can get to my defense here, what I like to do, and I can't, I can't get my D set up. Really try to contain the rollout here. Take that away. This will do a decent job delay fade and i got him good job okay oh i did this again i did this again i got and i got so blessed i lucky one of the things i keep i keep forgetting that if you're on conservative like if your running back is on conservative if you catch the interception if you just hit left trigger you'll um like just click it for just a second it'll cancel that out so that the guy doesn't run like that where he runs slow and i always 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 hit l1 instead of left trigger so um, but anyway, we're able to get the interception there. Honestly, we didn't play great defense. Uh, we played okay. Our user kind of saved us. He's running some weird routes. Um, I think he's just, I don't know what he's, he's I'm just kind of surprised at the route combo that he used right there. Um, but defensively, we didn't play that great. We've got to really prepare for this rollout. i got to think about how I'm going to deal with the rollout, though, because you know he's going to go back to it. And I can't like adjust. I don't know why. Uh, I literally can't adjust whatsoever. Um, there will be. I, mean, I think I'm in a, literally a stock coverage. Very frustrating. Watch the delay fade. Like I, 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 I'm really frustrated with the lag online right now because look at this. I can't. I'm hitting the buttons and I can't do anything. I literally can't. Um, and it drives me insane. So this is the defense I want to be in. Wow, good route. Man, I don't know how that got over me. All right, so he it looks like he's going to shift to run bunch tight end full-time here. So we're going to base align the defense. 
we're gonna turn auto flip off and make sure that these are where they need to be and so essentially we're just gonna play defense to the wide side so we need these curl flats I don't think you can get over the top of that yeah there we go that's that's more of the way the defense is supposed to look so just the reason why I turn auto flip off whenever I face someone that runs bunch tight in um, is just because I don't find like we're basically running the same coverage on both sides defensively like right here he's running short side which is fine um, it's actually probably better defense if we're on this way because um, we've got you know really wide coverage angles and then now you're gonna see see he's probably gonna run boot over here where he's gonna be essentially it's a flood to the other side so there there's that route and we're gonna take just use the delay fade easy defense right there he's actually doing a good job I don't know exactly how he's doing it um, he's actually doing a decent job at glitching out my three wreck though normally the three wreck will play that so I'm not sure if it's I'm not pass committing or or what the adjustment that he's making is, but that's just something that I gotta kind of watch out for. So anyway, here we're gonna go back to power O. Just a simple read, easy run. And the cool part about I tight from split close, most people see split close as like a passing set. Um, split close does have some really good run plays too. Like this power O is actually pretty good. The other thing is there's some really creative little like motion glitch like not not motion glitches but like something like this um like you can block a lot of people um that that's another reason why i like this offense you know you i just like the that you can just kind of really uh work some of these you know concepts relatively easily right there good job by my opponent bad job by me i didn't have anything if he ran man coverage uh with the way he ran that where he ran like shaded down man coverage so a little bit of a mistake on my part. Uh, we're gonna go down to PA fullback slide. We're gonna see if we can get this rollout to work out for us this time. There we go. That's more of what we're trying to do. So easy read right there for Rogers. And now I'm actually gonna shift. I need to shift where Calvin Johnson is. And it looks like he's gonna go ahead and uh, concede. But thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to get the exact offense that I ran in this video, you can get that in the description. And if you want to get the exact defense that I ran in this video, you can get that in the description as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is down below.